Mission accomplished, Sage. You located a respawn chamber? No. I finally figured out what all the little buttons do on my watch. We just wasted exactly eight hours, seven minutes, and 39 seconds. Your sentient sonar was off, Sage. Whatever you sensed in that zone wasn't a red sentient recharger. Sherman and I did find this kind of cool, um, futuristic doorstop? A sentient cyber cell. What? I send this message in hopes that Battle Force 5 can act in time. I just escaped from a red sentient moon where a rebellion is underway. Really gotta tweak our spam filter. Not so fast. Semrick's on our side. Sorta. You have a chance to strike a decisive blow against our mutual enemy. The rebel force that is battling the Red Sark needs your help before it is crushed by Kritos. If the situation is as Zemmerich described, we must take action. And if it's not? He is sending you into a trap. Okay, everybody. Remember what Sage said. Be ready for anything. while you're on it. Even for Sark, that's harsh. I don't think it's Sark. And unless the bridge's warranties are expiring. It's the Rebels, but where are they? Too close. Better get out of here before we're collateral damage. On the plus side, whoever these guys are, there must be a lot of them. They've got an enormous dynamite budget. Not dynamite. These aren't chemical explosions. It's a focused EMP, an electromagnetic pulse. It forces every bit of metal to fly apart. Sounds like these rebels have some awesome sentient tech. One more reason to join up with them. Sure, can you triangulate where those pulses are coming from? Working on it. I'll put it up on your HUD display. Three clicks due west. Is that a reinforced bunker? Perhaps we should knock on the door and introduce ourselves. Sure. Any Sark headed our way? Can't tell. The electromagnetic fields are jamming my sensors. Zoom. Some recon. Thought you'd never ask. Yeah, we got company coming. Sark column not ten minutes away. Keep your eye on the sky, Zoom. We better warn these rebels they need to bug out, and fast. 
Okay, but how? No doors, no windows, no doorbell. Allow me. Cover your ears, mates. Nice one, Stanford. Uh, all in a day's work. Let's check it out. Hello? We're Battle Force 5 from Earth. We're friendlies. Um, anybody bring a nightlight? If a whole army's in here, they're scary good at hiding. I'm stuck like a refrigerator magnet. We're not your enemy. We fight the Sark, same as you. No use, Agura. We're stuck. Perhaps our hosts will respond to someone more, well, you know, me. Hello, chaps. Bonjour, mes amis. Um, uh, buenos dias, amigos. <laughs> Everybody. Whoever you are, we're on your side. And we all need to get out of here. The Sark are on their way. Stanford Isaac Rhodes has been thrown out to the best parties in Europe. But never has he, and by that I mean me, been treated with such disrespect. Show yourselves, you ignorant hooligans! Fool with his gun stuck to the ceiling. That is called me ignorant. I'm Vert, leader of Battle Force 5. I am Tez. Tez Volotov. Okay, Tez, you need to get your rebel army out of here now. I am the rebel army. And you are my prisoners. Now, now, listen here, chum. It seems we've gotten off on the wrong foot. <laughs> <laughs> Stanford! <laughs> What'd you do to Stanford? I did nothing. Your friend walked into an electromagnetic force field. Invented by me. I know. Brilliant. Brilliant? What part of we're not your enemies don't you get? Anyone who wears the symbol of the red sentience is my enemy. They're sentient based, but blue sentient. You know, the good guys? <laughs> I am a student of the sentient culture. Blues no longer exist. The Sark have located the bunker. Gotta warn the others. Easy, Tez. You made your point. You're the booby trap king, okay? So, what's a uh, genius like you doing in a place like this? Back on Earth, I experimented with advanced physics. Far beyond what you could possibly understand. I created was more powerful than even I anticipated. Somehow its speed and the electromagnetic field it generated opened an interdimensional rift. In the many years since, I have tried recreating the aberration in the space-time continuum. But you know what they say about subatomic particle acceleration. <laughs> no, you probably don't. So, you've been sabotaging Sark ever since? One guy? Amazing. For me, not really. After all, I captured all five of you. Sure did. But there's one thing you should know. 
There's six of us. My car! My cannon! My new mechanic! Fix it, Einstein! No time. The Sarker almost here. <laughs> Congratulations. Capturing me should please Kratos, your master. We don't work for Kratos. Get the reverb on its wheels, and let's get rolling. If you are not his slaves, you are his fools. You have led his Sark right to my hideout. After we risk our necks and total my reverb just to save you? Incoming! Enough, Tez. How do we seal this bunker? Only I can, and only with that. Just gonna have to trust you. Not gonna keep him out long. Follow him. Status. Quite drivable, actually, but my weapon system needs a seatbelt. Tez, wait! Can you home in on our comm frequency? <laughs> Child's play. I just have nothing to say to you people. Then try listening. This place is swarming with Sark. We need a plan if we're gonna get you and your super brain back to Earth. Earth, as if you could. Stanford, you can't help us here, so you got Tez transport duty. Me? Why do I have to escort that pompous, self-important, arrogant- Because you have so much in common? Ha ha. They know we're here. Get ready for another assault. Here they come! Bird, they'll never make it to the Earth portal without covering fire. Which is why we're staying put. Gotta keep the Sark focused on us. Go, Stanford! So, you want a driving lesson? What? As if you could teach me! <laughs> to get you and your flying ego back to Earth. <laughs> you get me to Earth? I will believe that when I see it. Now see if you can follow me. Observation, Sir Brainiac. And by the way, you're welcome. This way. Dead end. Speaking of dead. Tangler, Buster, let's even the odds. Rebels. Instead, I have the joy of destroying you! You've got to get past the Smash Claw first, Kritus! Uh oh! We're losing fusion and fast! Uh. We're doomed. Use the 
Zentners for cover! Roll up your sentient sleeve, Sage. Reverb got a thrashing. What did you learn of the rebels? Uh, that he's incredibly annoying. Oh, a blue sentient? I thought you were all extinct. How could you know about my people? Artifacts and hieroglyphs I found on the Red Sentient Moon. But my knowledge must be incomplete. Whoa! Are you kidding me? That's a quantum computer. A nanotech assembler. Oh, tire rack. Cold fusion unit. Your technical knowledge is certainly vast. Oh, please. He's insufferable enough without you feeding his ego, Sage. Sage? Uh, she is having a transdimensional psychic experience. A uh, common phenomenon among the highest evolved sentients. <gasps> Sage! Are you okay? My twin, Kritus, is on the Red Sentient Moon. The rest of the battle force is in grave danger. I've got to go back! How fast can you fix my sonic cannons? They must be totally rebuilt. Well, never mind the cannons. My teammates need me now! You must be mad. Without weapons, you have no chance against Kratos. Why sacrifice yourself for nothing? It's called friendship, something you obviously know nothing about. Perhaps, until today, but even I can learn new things. My car has weapons. If you want to put his sentient chip in mine, would that not upgrade it? A brilliant idea, but it will mean Reverb won't be operable. I only have five conversion chips. Well, I can't drive his jalopy, but I can. I will rescue them, okay? Friend? Watch it! I don't know how long it's gonna hold, Vern! Yeah, I do! Not long enough! who can fly out of this. And leave you another man down? No way! It's an order. Get to Stanford and Sage. See if they can help. Go! Buster, time to sky! Magnificent. Everything I dreamt it could be. Is it ready for battle? Not quite. You are not one with your vehicle until you name it. Split one. Eh. Oh, gotta lose this robo tail before I can open the portal. <laughs> of all things electromagnetic? <laughs> Fortunately, no. Vert and the team are pinned down. Follow me! It would be an honor. <laughs> How fitting that 
one leader finish off the other. Who dares attack Tritus? You know that rebel army your boys in red can't whip? That's him. Includes you, Tez. Lead the way, Captain. Yeah! Please, it's not necessary. Dude, way necessary. You saved our butts back there. This is true. Perhaps I should give a small speech. Ah, uh, now that's definitely not necessary. But this is. Let's give it up for the newest member of the Battle Force 5! Two, Two tears. tears! You are like uh, family to me. They're slightly less intelligent, but uh, still pleasant companions. Oh, oh. Here we go. 